In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of base editing. Base editing is a technique recently developed by researchers at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard to edit individual base pairs in DNA. So what can base editing do? Base editing can correct single base pairs instead of cutting and replacing entire chunks of DNA like CRISPR. See our previous video on CRISPR to learn more. Base editing can be used to fix point mutations. A point mutation is when a single DNA base has been substituted, inserted, or deleted. In this case, the T has been substituted for a C. There are 32,000 point mutations associated with genetic diseases in humans. Now you might be wondering, how does base editing work? Base editing involves the use of a molecular machine, also known as a base editor. This base editor has three main parts. First, we have the disabled CRISPR scissors that can search and bind to a target sequence without cutting it. Second, a protein that performs a chemical reaction on the C base and converts it into one that acts like T. Third, we have a protein that protects the edited T base from being removed from the cell. This base editor can change a base C to T. However, we still need to change the paired base, or G, to an A. Otherwise, we have an unstable pair. So we nick or cut the strand, which tricks the cell into changing the G to an A, completing the base pair change. Researchers have also produced a base editor that converts A into G using a similar method. Now, why is base editing useful? First, it can be used to fix mutations responsible for a number of genetic diseases. Second, it can be used to fix mutations in plants to create better crops. Third, it can be used to investigate the role of specific DNA bases in genes associated with cancer. As you can see through the multitude of applications, base editing is a very powerful tool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment below, and subscribe to our channel.